Hi, I'm Kyle Jorgensen. I'm gonna go over another one of our machines today. This is our CFAB 6M10. Now, CFAB, all of our CFAB shears are mechanical high-speed shears. 6M10 means six foot of 10 gauge mild steel. The NC means I've got a programmable back gauge that I can multiple step. I can program the depth of my flange, plus I can program, let's say, four inches, cut it twice, let's say, and then program eight inches, cut it once, program two inches, cut it twice. I can program the steps of my back stop of my shear. Now, this is a mechanical shear, so it's, it's fast. Got full stroke. I've just got some light aluminum here. Now, I've got a shadow line. What that is, there's a light behind here, and a, you know, basically a, like a piano wire cable that shines down. I can see where I'm going to cut. Okay, all of our CFAB shears, we can optionally add a, a pneumatic sheet support system. Now, our sheet support system, see, when it's turned on, it's going to come up and, and hold our material so we can gauge to our back gauge. Now, all of our shears up to 10 feet. We can add a sheet support system that returns the material to the front or returns the material to the rear. Now right now this sheet support system is set up to return the material to the front or front unload. Bring it back up. I'm gonna switch it. Now we're set up to rear unload. So I can toggle between what I want or what I need. Now again, you can, we can add this system to any shear up to 10 foot wide. 12 foot shear, we can add a sheet support system, but it's rear unload only. We don't, we don't have the front return option on the 12 foot shear. Now I'm in, I'm gonna turn the pneumatic off. I just, I've got some material here. Now if I run my material in, see I got a chance of missing my gauge. So I'm gonna turn my sheet support on. Now I'm hitting my gauge. Now if I cycle, it's gonna rear return right now. So again, that's rear return. If I had it set up in the other system, that part would have returned to my feet. See? So front unload then it would return to my foot, or to the front of the shear. Again, that's front, rear, return, pneumatic sheet support system. Up to 10 foot machines, we can add that function or that option to the machine, which is a really nice option. Okay, we just went over our sheet support system. Now I'm gonna go over the functions of the shear. Um, right now I've got the, the sheet support system and everything to set to front return. So all my parts are gonna come here. So if I cut, so single cut, going to return here. Now if I want to go continuous, so so you can see I mean a very productive fast shear. Some of the standard features we've got a square arm here on the left side. I've got a flip stop support arms. I've got rapid blade gap adjustment or I'm moving the bed or the, the gap of the between the shear blades depending on what I'm cutting. Very simple control. We've got our you know our NC control here. So I've got continuous cut, single cut, sheet support off, on, front load or rear load or back load depending on the function. You know, if I just program I want to go to Four inches. Four inches. Stationary cuts. I've got my cut setting, so I would set, you know, my first part. Let's say I wanted two inches, and I wanted how many of them? See if I wanted two or I wanted three. I want to cut three parts of two inches down my batch. So I build my batch. Once I'm here, I just turn that on. It's going to go to my recipe, so to speak. If I want to automate it or cut, you know, 
how many cuts I've got, I can reset it. This this is for our step or our batch cutting. For the different settings, millimeter or inch, just toggle between them, real simple. Cuttings, alarms, you know, if I get an alarm, somebody hits the code or the back gauge or the e-stop or something like that, you can see what's going on. But a nice little control. Very simple and uh, very user friendly. Um, a nice shear, a very, very productive tool in your shop. Uh, it's built for a lifetime. And, uh, something we're very proud of.